Welcome to Blonde Cards and Crafts. Let's make something together. Hello crafter. Today I'm going to be making a lovely little project using products from the Paper Craft Society box number 30. There are some great makes inside this little booklet, lovely cards as well as other projects that you can make. There is a mini tea caddy and a mini, mini stationery set. And I loved the idea of doing a mini stationery set. With this, Ashley uses some grey board to make hers. And I thought I would like to do it using some 300 GSM cardstock. Now for the envelopes, I'm using my 123 punch board. I like this one because it has the extendable leg for larger pieces of card. You've got your scoring tool there as well. And that blue button, it punches out as well. So I have my envelopes all made. I didn't think you'd need me to go through with showing you how to make an envelope. And I have them all stamped using some of the stamps from the stamps that came in the um, stamp set and I have used first and second generation stamping on those envelopes. I've also made five of my little notelet cards that are going to go inside. I've used some of the pattern paper and I have kept these small. They're a lovely little just over four by four size little notelet card. And you can see again, I've done second and first generation stamping inside. And they're all a little different inside as well, each one. And I've left them blank. I haven't put any sentiment inside that way the recipient can write their own little message inside and I thought this little notelet set would be great as part of my Mother's Day gift. I've also used the wrap that came around the um, card. You can see there the little ovals with the polka dots that's using that wrap that I spoke about in the unboxing. So there's five of our notelets. We'll make the sixth one um, in a little while. So this piece of cardstock it measures 10 and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And I need to score that, but I'll do that a little bit later. For my little notelets here, I have a piece of cardstock measuring eight and a quarter by four and one eighth. And then I have scored it in the middle at four and one eighth. So our cards are a little bit just over four inches in, in size. This pink piece here, three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And then my patterned paper measures three and three quarters by three and three quarters. So the pattern paper will have a teeny little border from the matte layer going around it. I also have these three pieces of cardstock. This matte layer measures four and one eighth by four and one eighth. And on top of that, I'm going to use the vellum. I have used the embossing folder that came in the um box and I have embossed this vellum. My vellum measures four by four. <laughs> to stop and think there for a minute. So it just sits nicely on top there like so. And the three of them are going to embellish our card holder. This piece measures four and a half by two and a quarter and my embossed vellum measures four and a quarter by two and that'll sit in front of our little um, card holder part. So there are all the pieces that we need to embellish the holder. This is the um, polka dot pattern on the um, wrap. I have die cut that out using two nesting dies, for, one for that and one for my little sentiment. I have a strip here and this is for a belly band. It measures 11 and a half by one and a half and I've scored it in a couple of places. This white piece measures three and three quarters by two and a quarter. And you will have seen there, it actually is four and a quarter on the scoreboard, but I will cut that down later to size. Now with the belly band, we need to score that so it can wrap around our card holder. So I am scoring this on the long side at two and five eighths, at three and a quarter, then I'm going to score it at eight and at eight and five eighths. 
So I'm taking my time there. I'm just making sure that I get my score lines in the right place. Because when you're working with five eighths and one eighth, <laughs> I just make sure that I get it on the right tab. Okay, so that's the belly band organized. Next, we're going to work on the card holder or the notelet holder. So we're back to our big sheet again. And now we're going to put some score lines on it. So I have this white sheet now in my scoreboard and it's on the 10 and 3 quarter inches long side. I'm going to score it at 4 and 3 quarters, then 5 and a quarter, 10 inches, and then 10 and a half. And now we want to rotate our cardstock. And that will put us on the seven and three quarter inches side. And I want to make two score lines here. One at four and three quarters and one at five and a quarter. I'm just making sure five and a quarter. There we go. Now we're going to rotate it again in the same direction as previous. And we're going to score at six and a quarter. And we're just going to score down to the first score line. There's two score lines there. We're just going to the first score line. So now we need to do some cutting. And I have that little quarter inch tab the whole way down. And it's now going to be on my left. So I need to do some cutting here. And I'm cutting up along this second score line from the left. And I'm cutting right down. And when I get to the last score line there, I'm going to cut across and you'll be able to see now what I've done. I'm just removing this piece. And I'm doing it nicely because you'll see this for a finish. So you can see there we had our little score line there. Now we want to cut over onto the left hand side. So I'm going to remove all around here and down across. So again, I'm going to go up to this first score line, up to the second score line, then cut around that. It's not the best scissors that I'm using here. They need to be sharpened once I've cut into that. And then I'm going to cut around again and then straight down because we want those little quarter inch tabs either end there and you can see what I have cut out there because those quarter inch tabs they're going to stick to the inside and that will then hold all our cards and envelopes together. So our two quarter inch tabs one there on the right and one on the left I just want to take a little wedge off those just so that when I fold them in and stick them down they won't be you know seen over the top. So just cut a little wedge off each one there. I'm going to trim up that score line. There was a little bit of score line there. Lovely. Okay, so now we need to fold and burnish all our score lines. And that's what I'm going to do next. So I've sped this bit up. <laughs> you really don't need to watch me folding and burnishing all those score lines. So I've all that done now. It's just a matter of taking our little tabs and gluing them down. So I'm going to use some um, red liner tape. This is actually blue liner tape. It's the same as red liner tape. It's just a different brand. And I'm also going to put a little bit of liquid glue on top as well. That way the liquid glue will give me a little bit of wiggle room. But I know that the um, double sided tape there, my blue liner tape, it's going to make sure and hold it fast while my glue sets. I'll then burnish that in place, make sure it's stuck down firmly, and then I'll do the same on the other side. Take off the release tape, add a little liquid glue, and sit that nicely into place. Lovely. And that's literally our little notelet holder. So next we just need to embellish this, and I'm going to attach my vellum to my matte layer using double sided tape and I find if you use a double sided tape on all the vellum and then stick that down you don't see it. I find with vellum if you use a liquid glue you can see the spots where the glue is glued down 
but if you cover the whole piece of vellum with double sided tape then you don't see it and for me that's what I like to do it's what works for me so it's up to yourself if you're using vellum you do what you feel is best for you so I have all my mats and layers there finished up now I'm just going to add them to our notelet holder and I'm using the construction glue the Kalal glue for this because when this dries and sets it'll be rock hard so it'll it won't be as good as using chipboard but I'll tell you it's not far off it it's really strong next I'm going to add my little sentiment to my sixth notelet the one I didn't finish so I'm going to add my pattern paper down to my mat layer then put my mat layer down onto my little note card and then I can put my little sentiment for the front down onto that. And that then is my six little notelets with the little envelopes in my little notelet holder. And I love this. You, if you see there, I have a little bit of bulk, but that's because a couple of my cards, I have put foam tape on them. So it adds a little bulk, but I still, they all fit in there lovely. I'm delighted with that. So now I'm going to put the belly band around it and you can see there I'm joining it to the front. Now we just want a little bit of glue on the belly band. So when you're doing this, make sure your glue doesn't get off the belly band and stick it down to your notelet holder. I didn't do it this time, but I remember the first time I did a belly band <laughs> and I stuck it to the guard. I was not impressed, but it was lesson learned. I never did it again. You can see here that our panel to go on the belly band is a little bit too long and I trim that down. But you have the correct measurement for that that I gave you earlier. So I'm going to just glue that down. You could use some foam tape to give it a little dimension, but I'm happy enough just to glue that down. And I'll use my liquid cosmic shimmer glue to stick that down in place. And once that's then stuck down onto the belly band, I'll be able to slip the belly band off add a little bit of pressure to that to make sure it's situated nicely in place. Doesn't that look lovely? With all our first and second generation stamping on that, I think it's marvellous. And the belly band just slips off really easily. Perfect. So I'll add a little pressure to that now. So there we go. That is our project for today. I just love all the different notelets that are in here. I love the fact that it, they're blank inside, so there's plenty of room to write a little message. I love the little matching envelopes as well. And our little cards fit in here perfectly. They really do fit in there nicely. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial. If you did, you might consider giving it a like. If you're a subscriber, thanks so much for subscribing. And if you're not a subscriber, you might click on the little bell icon down below. That way you'll be notified each time I post a new video. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Reddit. And until next time, folks, thanks for watching and bye for now.